Hey crafters, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to make a fun computer themed card with a pop-up desk. Hope you enjoy. So for this card, I started with a piece of paper that's five and a half inches by five and a half. And I just drew a line from one corner to the opposite so that I have a nice X here and then a horizontal line in the middle of my X and a vertical line on the other so that I have eight sections on my card. And now I'm just going to use one of the stamps from Virtual Friends. This is the, um, the monitor of the computer. And I'm going to stamp it four times, just rotating my card so that it fits nicely and I have a bit of a pattern. Now you can always use a wreath builder stencil to get the same effect, but um, it's easy enough to do with lines like I'm showing you here. So now I'm just going to add another uh, monitor to the pattern. And then once I have four of those, I'll put some in the corners as well. And this stamp set uh, from Lawn Fun goes really well with the pop-up desk, as you'll see later on in the video. Now that I'm happy with the stamping, I'm going to use some post-it note paper. This is the full stick paper. And I have one for every monitor that I've stamped. And I'm just going to stamp two monitors here and then I'm going to cut them out. So I'm just creating masks. You could also use masking paper if you prefer or regular post-it note paper, although you'll need to be a little bit careful as it won't have the sticky bit over the entire surface. So now I'm just going to remove those lines and then I can add in my masks. And just be careful that you've left the ink to dry for a few moments before you erase so you don't accidentally smudge. So now I'm going to add my masks over each of the monitors and that way I can add some ink blending to the back of my panel. Now if you prefer you could always color behind the monitors using Copics or pencil crayons. Um, but adding ink is a lot faster and you'll see you can create a beautiful pattern with the inks. So now I'm going to use my Distress Oxides and add some color to this. So I'm starting with Kitsch Flamingo and putting this in the center. And I'm sort of thinking about a kaleidoscope where it's a circular pattern. So I'm going to put some cracked pistachio around the Kitsch Flamingo. And these two colors work really well together. And then once I'm happy with where that uh, cracked pistachio is, I'm going to add in some Mermaid Lagoon. And I'll put that beautiful color around the outside. And I'm going to use the same color theme on the inside of my card as well. So these three beautiful pastel colors will uh, work really well together on both the inside and the outside of the card. So now that I've got the color down, I'm just going to lightly blend them together. Now these um, masks that I've created with post-it note paper, they last a good two or three uses so you can reuse them a couple times before they need to be thrown out. So I'm going to remove these masks and set them aside and I'll stick them with the packaging so I can use them again. And you can see the areas underneath is still nice and white so it's perfect for coloring with Copics. So I started with BG11 for the inside of the monitor and this is a nice light color and I'll be able to stamp on top of this uh, with a different Lawn Fun stamp and you'll see that shortly. And then for the actual screen, the outside of the monitor, I'm going to use 
C3 first, and then I'll put C5 on top, and C7. And then once I have those three cool grays down, I will blend them out. And I'll just add a bit of the same color on the bottom of the monitor as well. And I thought it was good to have all the computers the same. So I'm just going to show you um, the coloring on one and then I will uh, fast forward so you don't have to watch me color all of them. So I'll just blend those colors together. Once I'm happy with the blend, I'm just going to add a little power button to the bottom right of the screen. If you prefer the um, stamp set actually comes with a tiny little heart that you could use instead of a, a circle for your power button. Now, if you notice any areas that were covered by the mask, that you need to touch up. For example, on the bottom here, I've got a little bit of white showing. Just match that with one of your Copic colors and it's easy enough to fill in any gaps that are missing. So now to make this look even better, I'm going to use um, the tiny little loading stamp from the same stamp set. And I'm going to stamp it with the Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide ink. Now, if your ink pad is getting a little bit dry, you might want to use a stamp positioner for this. Um, but my uh, ink pad is quite new still, so it's got lots of, lots of ink in it. And once I'm happy with the stamping, I'm just going to make my monitors a little bit more realistic by adding some texture to them. So I'm going to use some Ranger Glossy Accents and apply this over the, the monitor areas. And I'm just going to make sure that I spread it evenly with the tip and try to get rid of any air bubbles that might show up. And once I've applied this to all the monitors, you'll see it's quite shiny. I'll set this aside to dry. So for the pop-up desk, I've cut all the pieces from the Lawn Fawn pop-up desk set and I've cut the inside of the laptop twice as you'll see on the left there. And I'm going to apply the same three colors to these pieces. And I'm using my Waffle Flower Mini Media Mat and that helps because it kind of grips your paper so it's a lot easier when you're applying ink to tiny pieces. As you see, these drawers here are quite tiny and uh, the mini media mat will hold them while I put the ink on. And I'm going to do the knobs as well. And they're very, very tiny. And it works really well on this media mat. You could, of course, uh, color the paper before you die cut it if you prefer. Now to keep with the color theme, I thought it would be fun to have a white laptop, but have colors behind the keys. So I'm going to use the um, piece of paper, which is the backing of the laptop. And I'm going to apply the three colors onto that. So I'll put a little bit of the Kitsch Flamingo and the Cracked Pistachio and then the Mermaid Lagoon on there. And you'll see when I line it up underneath the keyboard, it looks like um, you have one of those fancy laptops with colored keys. Perfect. And I will add a message onto the laptop uh, shortly. So once I've glued the laptop onto the keys, I will glue on the drawers of my little desk here. And it's hard to see in the video, but there are little embossing lines that show you where to line up the drawers. So it's very easy to assemble this die. 
And then once I have the drawers on, I can add the cute little knobs. And you'll see how well these three colors work together. Now to make my card a little bit more spectacular, I'm, and to carry on with my computing theme, I'm going to make a little computer themed rug for underneath the desk. So I'm going to use the Tim Holtz 3D embossing folder, and this is called Circuits, and you'll see it here. I'm just going to dye, well, emboss a piece of white card, and then I'm going to cut this down so it's the perfect size for my underneath my desk to work as a rug. And now I'm going to just gently apply some ink. So I'm using the same ink daubers, the three ink daubers that I used before, but I'm not applying any new ink. So there's still ink left over on these, but they're not heavily saturated. And I'm just using a very light pressure so that I get a hint of color onto this little rug area. Now, if I push too hard, it, I will lose the white in the background. So I'm just pushing very gently. And then I'm just going to use my scissors and add a bit of a fringe on the bottom of the rug here. And now I've got my little computerized pastel colored rug for underneath the desk. So now I'm just going to follow the score lines on the die and reinforce them. And it's a lot easier to see in real life and that's the great thing about this Lawn Fawn die. It shows you exactly where you need to fold. And I'm just reinforcing them with my bone folder. So now I'm just going to add in a little message on my laptop. And it says, Hap happy virtual birthday. And this is from the virtual friends set as well. And I'm going to stamp my inside sentiment. And this will say, hashtag happy bee day. Hope your day is glitch free. And lastly, I thought it would be cute if I had a miniature card on the inside of my card. So I've created a little card here with an extra little flap. And I'm just going to put one of the little creatures from the virtual friends set onto the front. It's a little mouse in a hat. And I thought it would look cute. So it's like a miniature birthday card. I'm just going to color that in and uh, decorate it so it looks like a miniature card. So this miniature card is about a half an inch by three quarters of an inch on the front. So I used a piece of paper that was one and a half inches by three quarters of an inch and I just created the middle fold and this extra little flap. And the flap will help us adhere it to the card as you'll see shortly. All right, so I'm just going to glue the background onto my laptop and then I can start putting everything together. So I've got a pink card blank for this card which works really well with my color theme and I'm just going to glue in my little computer rug here. Now the finished card size will be five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And now I'm just going to use some double-sided tape onto the little flaps on the front of the desk and because I'm using an embossing folder, I'm also going to add some glue because the area that I embossed isn't quite flat. So I'll glue that and put my desk onto the rug first. Now, once I'm happy with that, I'm going to add some adhesive on the back of the desk and attach it to the top of the card. Now, as you can see, I've already prepared the sentiment. So I added some Mermaid Lagoon Distress Oxide onto a rectangular 
piece of card and then I added my sentiment on there. And once I'm happy with my desk, I'll just add the sentiment on the top there. And then I can put the laptop on the desk. And I'm just going to set this card aside closed for a while until the desk is completely secured onto the rug. So you can see the desk is secure on the carpet now and it folds flat. And I also went ahead and stamped and dyed the little lamp from Den Sweet Den. So I'm going to use some double-sided tape on the little flap on the miniature card here. And then I'm going to um, adhere this onto the desk. And I really like the idea of having a miniature card in here. I love miniatures. <laughs> and I'll just put the lamp in the background there. And I left the lampshade white as it went well with the computer, but I colored in the, um, the bottom of the lamp. So it's a nice light blue. And now I'm happy with the inside of my card. You can see it folds nice and flat and you can open it up to see the pop-up desk. So I've already put double-sided tape on the front of the card and the glossy accents are nice and dry. So I'll just put that on the front. And when the recipient opens the card, they'll see the lovely pop-up desk. And they'll see the little note, which when they open, they'll realize is a miniature birthday card which is just perfect. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video inspiring. Be sure to subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Have a crafty day.